the heartbreaking moment as the spire of Notre Dame topples into the flames. As onlookers gasp in disbelief. In the heart of the French capital, a beloved icon consumed before their eyes. Late afternoon, smoke was seen rising from the Ile de la Cité, soon billowing into the clear blue sky. Then the horrifying sight of flames licking the roof of the cathedral, completely out of control. Parisians gathered, looking on, powerless and in horror. The spire, or flesh, the French for dart, has pierced this skyline for centuries, but no longer. Architectural masterpiece, cultural landmark, celebrated in literature and on film. If you come to Paris, you visit the Notre Dame, as much as the Eiffel Tower. The grief caused by this sickening sight will be felt far beyond Paris. Everybody's just shocked, I think. They're just, you know, trying to, uh, to have this kind of last moment with, with Notre Dame. As you can hear, it's very quiet. Voices aren't being raised much above a murmur here. And people have been here for hours now, looking on in stunned disbelief. The mood is one of subdued shock. And that, I think, is being felt across this city already, almost in a sense of mourning about what they've lost. This was meant to be the night the President of France would go on television, hoping to resolve its political crisis and unrest. But that's been cancelled now. Politics eclipsed by a national tragedy. That will only deepen the sense of malaise gripping this country. Dominic Waghorn, Sky News, in Paris.